That's perfection. Yep, it's got to be perfect. That's not always, though. Hi, everyone. It's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today, I'm going to put a little video in to show you the finished rug. We'll put it in right here. Okay, it's the rug is done. I did as far as I can down at the bottom. There's very little gap. I, I had to push my finger through. You can use a crochet hook if you wanted to try to put another row in, but I'm not going to bother. And now to take it apart. I'm going to remove all my extra stuff. I have to take my clothespins off. I'm going to untie the pole because I, I tied it there extra to untie the pole and untie the other pole what I'm doing is loosening this thing right here this rod that I had tied up Then I'm supposed to be able to slide the rod out. Oh yeah. Let me see. Wait a minute. Let me. I had it tied down here too. Maybe that's the problem. I'll untie it down there also. I had it tied up pretty good. I didn't want it to mm -hmm. move. There now maybe it'll move. Uh, let's hope so. Just a minute. Let me try it. Let me see. Oh yeah, it'll move now. And you slide the rod out, which is real. Not gonna work. Um, it'll, it'll work. Will it work? Because mm -hmm. I've got the end on the one side that maybe isn't gonna work. Yeah, it'll I probably come should out. have turned it the other way. It'll come out because that that comes off. Oh, thank you. I don't hit the ceiling. You will. I will? Mm -hmm. Yep, I did. But I can still angle it. Okay, I got it out. That side's out. Now I have to take the other side out. Okay, now this side I have to take the rod out too. And then you're supposed to be able to slide these out. Oh gosh, these are going to be harder because they're tight to begin with. It's coming off. Yay. Slides back in pretty easy. But it was hard coming off. Okay, now I have to do this bottom half and slide it off. And there it is. Okay, now because this is the type, this rug, here I'll put it down there. This is the wrong side, we'll show the right side. Okay, and because this is the type of rug that is not supposed to have the, you're not supposed to have to tie anything or to loop anything in these. these if I work the edges, I'm supposed to work them and it will make this warfing disappear. So it's a matter of me playing around for a while. And there's my rug. Looks good. Oh, it's a eye. Dizzy. Dizzy, dizzy. But it's turned out good. I just have to weave that in. Okay, that's the rug, and it's heavy. I also want to say to Marnie, which is Keto Marnie, the Keto Crocheter, that I actually made your chaffles today, and they're very good. I didn't use just plain egg whites because I have so many eggs. 
I um, put the full egg in and I didn't put the sweetener in because I didn't want the sweetener but this was the first time I'd seen it where you had mayonnaise in the mixture and I think that's what made the difference I have almond flour in the freezer and I have coconut flour too I have those I bought those a long time ago and I keep them in the freezer just so that they'll stay good um, also I don't know how you say her name if the Y is silent, but it's Oli or Yoli from Oli's Life. Maybe it's Oli. I think the Y should be silent, maybe. I don't know. She wanted to see green eggs. So I brought in two dozen eggs. And I will show you. There's different colors in the eggs. Okay, like this one is a, one of my green ones. And this is a green one next to it. I don't know if the camera will show them very good or not. And these are my pink ones. These are actually pink. They're not. They're not white. Cause do I have a white one in that one? Yeah, you got a white, white one. one. Okay. I'll show the white. See, this is the pink, and this is the white. They're different. Okay, I'll put the pink one back and the white one over here. And this is a green one. This is a green one. A blue. Well, these are sort of bluish. Blue green? I don't know. Yeah. Because I have different color green. This is a green. No, that's not a green. Is that a green? <laughs> they, yeah. After a while, I can't tell. And um, this one is a green. They're a different egg, though. They're green. You know, in the sunlight they look blue and the in the after they've been in the, here, put this one back in that carton. After they've been in the freezer or the refrigerator, not freezer, they look different. But there's green eggs. I have different color brown eggs. Like these are different colors. This one's actually got little speckles in it. Then there's a this brown. That's a different brown. That's a more solid brown. And there's this brown. See, there's a lot of different colors, different shades. And then, of course, the pinks that are different. This is a lighter pink. And this is a dar I mean, a darker pink and a pink and a lighter <laughs> pink. I don't know my colors. But yeah, there's lots of different eggs. And these are these are bantam eggs. And when I go to crack them, they, the shell is really hard. So when those bantam birds um, make it out of their shell, they have the really babies. the babies. Yeah. They have really worked really hard to get out of their little shell. Where the um, other shells are a lot not as not as um, hard. So when I crack them, they actually crack easier. But the bantam ones, you really got to bang them to get them to open up. Well, that's my video for today. I hope you all had a great day. It's chilly outside for me. <laughs> Jim says it'll perfect. It's perfect. Not, it's not perfect. It's it's where I had to wear a sweater all day and long sleeves. So when I do that, it means it's it's gotten chilly again. It was the upper 60s, lower 70s, I think is where it was today. They yeah. say we're going to warm up again. We had two really hot days. When summer rolled in, so did the hot days. And then it kind of went back to chilly. But... <laughs> It's <laughs> back to normal. Well, comfortable for you, but not. I like it in the 80s and above. But it wasn't there. Well, that's it. I will talk to you all again tomorrow. So you have a great night. Bye-bye.